501. Enter. Begin a new table. I'm going to go to table 12. It's got four people. So we start with drinks. Somebody wanted a Coke. Next seat, Sprite. Next seat, sweet tea. Next seat, coffee. Send. Then log back in. We go there. And now they want to put in an appetizer order. Seat one wanted oh shit, firecracker shrimp. And seat four also wanted oh, firecracker shrimp. <laughs> Print the ticket. Right? Print the ticket when they want food. Now they want to order their entrees. View by seat. They want a steak salad. Seat two wants a cheeseburger with cheddar cheese and broccoli. Seat three wants the Cajun Alfredo, but they want it with no chicken and they want to add broccoli and spinach. Why not, right? Okay, maybe if I, there we go. Then the next seat, seat four, they want fish tacos with french fries. Make sure it's all complete. Steak salad, yeah. Print. Now, seat one wants a dessert and seat four wants a dessert. Yeah, print. What else? Um, now they want to split their check function. They want to split the check. So everything for seat one stays there. Select everything for seat two. Add another check. Everything for seat three. Add another check. Everything for seat four. And then seat one and two decided they wanted to share their dessert. So you select the two tickets, yes, and then seat four and three wanted to split theirs, right? Cool. Save, yes, print checks. Four guests, four guests, four guests, and go back, wait for them to print. Oh. Why wouldn't it let me go back and print that one? Oh, you gotta go back. Print. And you have your four tickets. Payment. They paid in cash. Well, I can't really close out the cash right now. I can't really charge any of it. If you were doing a card, you would click credit card authorization, swipe the card, okay. Obviously, they don't have a credit card to run. It's done. When you come back, you add the tip however much it is, and then you close out to the final. If you're doing cash, literally just close out to cash. That's really it.